Thank you so much, Chairman. Thank you, Committee. My name is Lisa Tenner, and I'm supporting this bill, in support of this bill, H5992, uh, an act relating to health and safety, the Geoengineering Act. Uh, I hold both undergraduate and graduate degrees from MIT. This is to say I have some training in the scientific method, and I love spending time outdoors in my garden. Months ago, in my yard with my family, I noticed planes flying overhead, back and forth, creating streaks in the sky that fanned out. I had no idea what these were, but the fact that the same planes kept flying back and forth was odd. Over time, their activity seemed to increase dramatically, often leaving the sky quite white. With some initial research, I discovered this aerial spraying was a geoengineering activity called stratospheric aerosol injection, SAI. According to reliable sources, I found that SAI usually involves releases of nanoaluminum, strontium, barium, and sulfur dioxide. These are serious toxins. I had difficulty believing this at first. I learned from government documents that the federal government and independent companies contaminate the atmosphere with toxic gases and particulates, treating the human populations of Rhode Island and other states as if we were lab rats. We have no means of protecting ourselves, even while we all believe we have an inherent right to self-protection. Indeed, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, to which international law, the United States, is a signatory, codifies in Article 3, quote, everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. No, uh, end quote, no end can justify the intentional poisoning of our atmosphere, waters, lands, and our bodies. No research or experimentation can override the basic rights of our body's protection and security. I submit herewith the Nuremberg Code, which begins by saying, quote, the voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential, end quote. And, quote, before the acceptance of an affirmative decision by the experimental subject, that means us, right, there should be made known to him the nature, duration, and purpose of the experiment, the method and means by which it is to be conducted, all inconveniences and hazards reasonably to be expected, and the effects upon his health or person which may possibly come from his participation in the experiment. The second point of the Nurem uh, end quote. The second point of the Nuremberg Code is very clear. Quote, the experiment should be such as to yield fruitful results for the good of society, unprocurable by other methods or means of study, and not random and unnecessary in nature. End quote. There's no need to study toxins that have already been studied and established as hazardous. The geoengineering studies now being undertaken may look at effects other than those on terrestrial and aqueous organisms. However, we Rhode Islanders must not be forced into the crosshairs of, or actually sacrificed for, academic or other unstated interests and purposes. Please read the remaining portions of the Nuremberg Code. It's one page. Please, well, then, did you, uh, in conclusion, Sure. We have the little bird before we have it. And uh, you're reading it to us so we can read it on our own. Sure, thank you. Um, we need to act quickly to control aerial releases and other geoengineering activities before more damage occurs. Please fast track this important bill that, when law, will protect our people, land, waterways, air, food supplies, economy, and more. Thank you very much. Any questions for this week? Thank you very much. Oh. Representative Roberts. Thank you. I don't know if you can specifically answer this question or if somebody else. Um, um, I'm just, I'm kind of curious about who's making these decisions to spray. Who makes that final decision? We have something called the Federal Weather Enterprise which is the federal government program for weather modification. And I actually have the, the paperwork here. Um, there's a budget, FY 17, 18, and 19. Um, here it is right here. So do you have copies of that paperwork? I can leave it for you. I can leave it for you, yes. Okay. And um, so this is the Federal Weather Enterprise. FY19, I'm glad you brought this up because it is happening at the federal level. And then here's the budget, it's all open source. 
You guys should have copies of it because I gave this <coughs> the table of contents it's hyper so you can just have look at it. And, and that is building upon HR 353, which was passed in 2017 by Trump. It's the Weather Forecast and Research and Innovation Act of 2017. Part of what it works on is research and development and transfer of knowledge technologies applications, the National Weather Service, advanced radar, radar networking and technologies, the use of innovative dual polarization <coughs> array technologies, atmospheric chemistry, atmospheric electrification processes, uh, let's see, a technology transfer initiative carried out jointly in coordination with the director of the National Weather Service in cooperation with the United States weather industry um, and academic partners. So that's what happens is there's literally billions of dollars in this budget. All of the big major organizations, NOAA, NASA, DOD, Air Force, Marines, Army. Okay, so this is just a program that's been under the radar, so to speak, for decades. Under every president. Okay, and could I also just ask, maybe one thing to answer this question. Uh, I know the other woman that was testifying was reading the letter and said that there was a, there was, who were you reading the letter for, said that she was, uh, she's sick from this geoengineering, but how does one determine whether their sicknesses are actually caused from this? How would you know that? I have MS as well, okay. and nobody in my family has MS. It came out of nowhere, and I got, you know, I was devastated by the whole thing. However, I was exposed to a lot of chemicals. And that's what they said they think triggered it. So given that we are getting sprayed by bearing strontium and aluminum, aluminum, which everybody knows contributes to Alzheimer's and the rates of Alzheimer's keep going up in this country. That's what I'm saying. So did a doctor specifically say that? No, it's one of those things you just like, oh, you got this thing, you know. Nobody thinks this. You, okay. Why would you think this? You know, it's one thing, but now I, I'm pretty sure that's. Okay. But, but, they, but people are sometimes doing blood tests and tests on their skin. And so you have people being found burying in their skin. After the last study yeah. commission meeting, we did, uh, a reporter came. And she was like, what the heck? She came back, she had a test done on her for whatever, and she was, I have barium in me. I don't even know what barium is. And so she gave me the test 